Hey everybody, it's Ryan from Level Up Tactical here today to talk to you guys a little bit about some upgrades for the Sig Sauer P365 platform. So the Sig Sauer P365 has become uh, one of the most popular pistols out there, uh, one of the most carried pistols probably out in the market today, uh, you know, up there with the Hellcat and, and uh, some of the smaller Glocks. And, uh, you know, it's, it's been a, a little while coming, but now you have a lot of upgrades available for the 365 platform. Uh, what does that mean? Well, that means that somebody who purchased the P365 uh, early on in the, when it came out, or you know, maybe in the past couple of years before a lot of these newer styles and versions that have been coming out, uh, is, is able to upgrade their pistol and customize it a little bit to make it a little bit more of their own. Um, the P365 uh, that you see here originally uh, came, uh, was given to me by Bucktails Outfitters in Mays Landing, New Jersey, uh, and it was a standard 365 XL uh, pistol. Uh, I loved it, um, had been using it for a number of years, and decided that uh, we needed to upgrade the pistol a little bit and give it a little bit of character. So, uh, what I did was I did some research and I opted to go for the Armory Craft uh, 365 upgrades. Now before we get started, let's go ahead and so there's no ammunition on the table. The firearm is clear, no magazine in the, chamber, in the grip, no round in the chamber, pull the trigger, nothing happens. So this firearm is clear and safe. So Armory Craft did some research, came, came across their products and really, really liked the way they looked online. Uh, talked to the guys at Bucktails, uh, made a couple phone calls and uh, we got my hands on some upgrade parts so what we have here we're going to talk about uh, some we're going to talk about this pistol here in parts so we so we can see all the upgrades that have happened to this 365 XL uh, what I did was I opted to go for the Armory Craft 365 comp slide which uh, you see here now this comp slide is mo modeled after the macro slide from SIG Custom Works and it utilizes uh, the same basic design uh, but they have Armory Craft decided to put in some styling cuts here and there, put in some lightning windows, which is really nice. And you can see it is a compensated 365. What does that mean to you? Well, the standard 365 goes from here to here. And in the front tip here, there's a built-in milled compensator into the slide, just like the uh, macro. Um, the slide itself is uh, I believe a machine from a uh, solid piece of bill aluminum uh, and they go ahead and, and cut it down to spec uh, you can see it is made in the USA and it is from Armorcraft they have a nice little logo uh, right there milled into the slide on both sides um, and it's very nice it's very very nice I'm gonna take it off the uh, take it off the grip here uh, which is the Armory Craft macro grip if you see there um, so I'm gonna put this here for now so what you can see here is the slide. Now this slide, like I said, it's a macro slide. So that mean, what does that mean to you? That means that it will utilize a 365 barrel. Uh, so you can take your stock 365 barrel and slide it in, use it with this slide. Uh, now you can see here, this is a true precision uh, aftermarket barrel. I love true precision. They're making an awesome product and that's why I use them in all of my upgraded pistols. So use the, the 365 barrel, you can see it's a shorter barrel and the return spring assembly or the RSA from a 365 XL okay uh, the reason why is because the barrel has to stop here which is the 365 length but you need the you need the return spring assembly because it's got the actual slide length from here to here of a 365 XL so you need to be able to compensate for that movement when you buy the slide from Armory Craft or wherever you're buying it from uh, there is a 99.9% .9 chance it will become stripped. What does that mean? That means there will be no sights, there will be no barrel, no return spring assembly, and there will be no back cap or striker system in here. So you will need to basically uh, utilize the parts from your 365 or 365 XL with the exception of the barrel. Uh, if you're using your 365, you'll be using everything but the return spring assembly because you'll need a different one. And then you'll be able to slide all your parts in here. Uh, Armory Craft does mill their slide to accept the new style extractors. So you will need to, a new style extractor if you uh, are using an older 365. And their website is very comprehensive. They'll be able to walk you through what, what you need. 
Uh, and like I said, it does not come with iron sights, but what I have opted to go for here are the True Glow TFX Pros. Uh, I am not going to be going with an optic on this particular pistol, so I don't mind that the uh, rear optic covers the plate. Okay, so but these are our phenomenal sights. Um, if you're looking for some aftermarket sights for your pistol, or whether it be 365, a P320, a Glock, whatever they make them for a number of different pistols, uh, but these have the tritium uh, built into tritium capsules are here, uh, here and here in the back, and here on the front, and then on the top. Uh, in front of that you have um, fiber optics on both the front and the rear and that allows when you're outside the sun will you know bright lights or whatever will shine through those fiber optics and give you that nice bright glow uh, I'm not sure if the camera will pick that up here but it definitely does have a nice bright glow outside it's like looking at chem lights and at nighttime uh, they will glow brighter uh, than uh, in my opinion they grow they glow brighter than the stock uh, SIG X-ray 3's uh, night sights so that's nice and then I'm not sure if the camera will pick it up, but you do have an orange optic ring in the front here, right there. I'm not sure if the camera picks that up. So when you're looking down the, you know, the sights, this is kind of what you see. It's real nice, very easy to pick up your uh, sight picture and sight acquisitions from there. Uh, the back cap, you know, on this particular uh, Armory Craft slide, I opted to go with the Tyrant Designs. Um, back cap, it's, it, I think it added to the overall look, it kind of flows, it gives a little bit of a 3D kind of uh, feel to it there, so if you can see it, it's, you can see it's like a 3D texture there, it's very very nice. Um, so back to the, the look of the slide, like I said, this is designed to look like the, uh, designed with the macro specs in, in mind, and it has these, these styling cut window cuts here on the top as well, uh, very nice, it comes with the, with this optic plate here and if you decided to use an optic and use different sights in the rear you just pop that off pop it on there and i believe it's the the whole patterns are, are to mimic the uh, macro so whatever the macro has i have here if i'm wrong please do comment below and let me know um from there i'm gonna put the slide down here for a second we're going to look at the grip frame now many of you are looking at this and saying oh that kind of looks like a macro frame well it is it's essentially a sig macro frame that armory craft got their hands on uh, and they, they get, went ahead and um, Cerakoted it and then they lasered it. Now you can see they have their, I call it their signature honeycomb pattern uh, Just because I don't see many other companies that have the similar pattern, but it is extremely comfortable It feels very good when you hold it. There's a lot of positive contact. It's grippy It's not too grippy where you feel it. it's gonna rip up your hands or if you're gonna conceal carry It's not gonna tear up your shirt or, or the inside of your holster uh, from daily use uh, it, it is by far um, a much nicer grip frame than the standard um, macro grip. Uh, it, again, it's the same, everything else is the same. It's just, it's, it's colored uh, to almost match that and it's got the lasering on it. Uh, this is my standard grip frame, um, that's grip frame, I'm sorry, trigger FCU. Uh, I do have an Armory Craft trigger, which I have not put in yet, uh, and that is my own fault. I just haven't had time to take the, grip, the FCU apart and get it in there. and. If you've ever taken a FCU apart, you know there's some little tiny parts that really require a little bit of extra attention sometimes. So I just haven't had a chance to get to it yet. Uh, I will probably do that soon. Let me get this back together here. So yeah, you know, it goes together like your, your standard slide. Barrel goes in, locks up real nice. Uh, you can see there, locks up real nice. And then your spring goes in, your 365 XL spring goes in. There, snaps in place, we're good to go. Um, pro tip real quick, I don't know if any of you are like me, but this little bad boy right here, it has a tiny little spring that tends to unseat when you stick the striker in. Um, they don't sell the spring on its own, or I, at least I haven't been able to find it, so uh, be mindful of when you put that back in, or if you're like me, just have one or two on hand just in case. Um, the only thing I haven't really upgraded on this, again, is that is this, this, the, this, uh, trigger here and, I, and when I take put the trigger in the new trigger in the Armory Craft trigger I'm going to put in the spring kit uh, but I haven't like I said I haven't done that yet is the uh, mag release here I do have a Tyrant Designs uh, mag release that I haven't put in yet I do like the way they feel they're a little bit meatier they're, they're metal uh, they feel nice uh, Armory Craft also has one but I decided I wanted to go with the uh, Tyrant Designs which I'll update this uh, at some point and show you that as well so let me go ahead and slide this back on he goes right on the rails with no problem. Locks up real good. 
feels real nice. Now, uh, when you're going to upgrade your pistol, um, if you're going like me, going from a 365 XL, which is you know obviously a different grips uh, design, uh, which utilizes the XL mags, um, you will need to upgrade your mags. Now that can either mean you can purchase uh, new mags, or you can um, you know try to uh, get base plates to to fit your existing mag fleet and uh, use it in your in your macro grip, which is what I decided to do since I live in a band state and I'm only allowed to have 10 rounds in my magazines. I opted to go with, originally, uh, even with my uh, XL, I went with the, let's put this down for a second here, I went with the 10 round 365 mags. Okay, these are standard stock 10 rounds. Uh, I figured uh, down the road, if uh, we ever became America again in my state, I would be able to get rid of these as factory stock mags and wouldn't have to worry about drilling out dimples and do all kinds of different things to make the other mags, you know, full full capacity mags. So uh, I went with the 10 round 365 mags. Now, tactical development, which a lot of us know, made uh, the uh, pro ledge uh, bottom, which made, made us able to use 10 round 365 mags in an XL grip frame. So moving from the XL grip frame to the macro, I had to find a solution. Now, SIG makes uh, 10 round mags for the uh, macro. Uh, that's pretty much what they look like here. There's also a vendor on um, uh, a couple of those online auction sites that have uh, modified 360 uh, macro mags to, for 10 rounds, which is, this is one of those actually. Uh, and they fit in very nicely. You know, they lock in place, they drop free, no problem. The problem that I will end up with uh, is that this particular mag will not fit if I use the TACOPS magwell or any other kind of magwell. The, the, the flared design of the base here uh, will not seat properly when I go and put that magwell on there. So this mag won't lock into place. It won't catch the mag release and lock in. Uh, what I was able to find is again on that um, E auction site, if you know what I'm saying, uh, they, there is a guy there that sells uh, these base plates. And these base plates are very nice. They're, they fit in very nicely. They right, go right on the 365 uh, 10 round mag and allow you to use that in your, in your macro grip frame. Now you'll notice here on the bottom, you see how it's got that little bit of extra there? These mags are for uh, uh, the magwell. So if you have a magwell, the Tyrant, the Armory Craft, the, um, the um, Oh, the TAC Ops one, uh, any of the other aftermarket ones, you'll need the, the standard mags will not work. You'll have to get, you know, that's why you always see them selling base plates for them. This particular base plate will work in standard, mag, standard, standard macro grip. It will also work in when the, when the mag is on here because you see how it's, it's got that extra little space there. You see how it's a little thinner there? It allows for the mag to seat properly with the mag well. Uh, I don't have my Spectre uh, 365 uh, XL Spectre here to show you because it has a TAC Ops Magwell on it, but this will lock in just fine. Meanwhile, this one will not. And you can see the difference there. This, this extra little bit of meat right here has to come down in order for it to hit properly with the Magwell. Uh, so that's something to think about. I'll put a link in the description here for the, for the vendor that's selling these. Uh, they're, they're affordably priced too. So you can essentially upgrade your entire mag fleet. Say you had five mags, you can up update your entire mag fleet for about 50 bucks. Uh, and they keep the, the old base plates and then when things come around or if you need to sell them, you put them back to factory and you're good to go. Um, that's pretty much it on this. I'm, like I said, I'm waiting for a mag well to come in. I ordered that, I like the TAC Ops one, so I'm, I'm actually gonna stick that on here. Um, not much else I will do to this, except for, like I said, I will put the trigger in at some point. I got the Armory Craft Spring Set. Um, I've been looking at the Tyrant Design Extended Slide Catch, and I kind of do like it, so I may actually pick that up at some point. Um, I think that looks real nice here. I have to see how it's going to fit on with the cuts on the grip here, though, and see if that'll actually work. Um, oh, yes, yes, yes. If you're taking your 365, or even your 365 XL and deciding to go with the macro grip and the slide or whatever slide or whatever you decide to do, you are going to have to update your holster collection, right? 
So uh, I took a little bit of time and I, I went and tried through a, a bunch of different holsters that I had here. I went over to our friends at Bucktails and uh, uh, tried out a couple holsters that they had there and ended up finding out that if you have this particular setup or, or something similar, if you have an XL length slide and a macro grip, you can utilize, I'm gonna put this here for a second, you can utilize a Alien Gear Cloak 3.5, this is the inside the waistband, they also have the outside the waistband, uh, holster. You can adjust the retention a little bit here and here, um, and you will be able to use that holster for uh, this pistol. Now, again, I, I apologize. This is actually set up for my Spectre, which is a little bit narrower than this top, so I would have to release this, uh, uh, you know, unscrew these a little bit to release the, 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 the tension a little bit. Uh, but you can see it fits, it will fit in there just fine. Um, it will cover the trigger guard just as it should. Mag release is visible. Everything's good there. I can release the mag administratively if I need to without unholstering the pistol. Uh, it's, you know, it's got various forms of points of adjustment for ride height, cant, and everything else. Uh, and you can purchase separate shells if you want to for different firearms. So like for me, this is a brand new shell because I wore out my other shell. Uh, but this will, I mean, a uh, backing. Uh, so this will actually work for uh, my 320, uh, my winter carry gun. Uh, this and my, like I said, my Spectre uh, 365 XL Spectre is my my uh, my EDC gun, which this holster is set up for right now. So it's a little snug on this, but if I loosen this up here, it'll be fine. But because this is my EDC, I'm not going to mess with that right now. Uh, so if you're looking for a uh, holster option, or if you're looking to do some nice upgrades to your pistol, the Armory Craft is kind of the way to go, in my opinion. Um, the compensator, there's some controversy as to whether or not a compensator on a pistol of this size and caliber is worth it. Uh, I guess that's up to interpretation, you know. Um, if you think that your, uh, your upgrades are worth uh, uh, the money for, for what you're getting out of it, then it's really relative to you, right? Uh, what works for me may not work for you. Uh, what do I think about the compensator? I could tell you that uh, when I shoot this uh, versus my Spectre, I do find that there is a little bit less muzzle flip, so I'm used to get back on target for that uh, second shot a little bit quicker. Uh, is it enough to make me want to switch my EDC to a compensated slide? No. Um, I like my Spectre. Uh, I have it here somewhere. I'm not going to go get it, but um, I do believe that this is a very, very nice pistol to shoot now. Uh, better than the original stock 365 XL setup? Absolutely. Uh, is it worth the money? I mean, again, relative to what you want to spend. Um, you know, the slide itself, you're looking at probably 350 to $400, depending on where you find them. The iron, these uh, True Glow sites, I mean, 120 on Amazon. Uh, barrel, I think the barrel was like 140 150 bucks. Grip frames, like $150. Uh, trigger was 30 some dollars. Back caps, 20 bucks. Spring kit was cheap. I, I don't even remember. I think it was less than 20 bucks. Um, so again, it's relative to what you think is worthwhile. Um, for me, uh, I like the way this turned out. I really do. Um, this will stay with me for a while. Uh, and this is a dream to shoot when I'm out in the range. Uh, and everybody that has shot it has uh, absolutely loved the way it shoots, the way it feels, the way it looks. Uh, I actually have a, a friend of ours, or a student of ours, uh, who's also a friend, uh, shot this uh, three or four weeks ago and then asked me to email him the build list because he wanted to go and, and uh, turn over his 365XL to this setup. Um, so that's pretty much it. Uh, check out Armory Craft, check out True Precision, check out, um, check out uh, True Glow, check out the vendors for the, um, for the mag bases and Alien Gear, good friends of ours. Uh, here at Level Up Tactical. Uh, they help us out with a lot of things. Uh, let us test out some products for them. So go check them all out. I mean, the holsters are, are super, super affordable. Uh, lifetime warranty, all made in America. And uh, you can't really beat it. So don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. We'll be posting up some new content training videos for the summer and the fall seasons. We do some more product reviews. I'll actually be pulling out the Spectre XL um, and doing a little review on that. And I uh, hope to see you guys soon. As always, guys, stay safe and shoot straight.